Good morning or good afternoon to my favorite DE class. We're going to start playing with some RGBs, but I'm sure right now you're distracted by the cool stuff behind me. Yes, that's Andre Dawson, the Hawk. Um, and this jersey right here, ugh, this jersey right here is a soccer jersey from Muskegon University, which is where my brother coaches soccer. So, got any soccer players watching and you're looking for a good place to go play soccer, play for a good coach, I promise you, he is an amazing coach. And, well, I'm sure you can get some good playing time over there. I mean, I couldn't play for him. I'm sure you're better than me, but whatever. Okay, let's move on. Let's play with some RGBs. So, go ahead and create a new circuit. And we're going to use what's called an RGB light. And it's found right down here. And an RGB light has a red, a ground or a cathode, a blue, and a green. So you can guess what the RGB stands for. Red. Blue. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's grab an Arduino. And we're going to need one with a breadboard on it. There we go. And I'm going to place that like right at like number 15 or so. And then I'm going to go back into here, grab some basics, and grab a um, resistor. And the resistor we're going to use is like a 220 or a 330 ohm resistor. It, it defaults to kilo ohms, so be careful of that. And we're going to place that right here on 15, line it up with 15. I'm going to go out of F. I'm going to go down here, and it's going to plug into D, and then... Um, actually, I'm going to need um, three of those. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to hit Control-C and Control-V, and look at that. It pastes. I'm going to skip row 16. I'm going to bump it over to 17, and then I'm going to paste another one, and I'm going to put it on row 18. So it lines up here. Let me just bump, move that down a little bit so it's a little bit easier to line up. There we go. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to put a wire straight down. I'm going to move that to black so that we can see that that is our negative. That's where our cathode lines up. And then I'm going to start plugging these in. So what an RGB does is like an RGB is like an additive um, or a light-based color, and it pretty much just takes a green, a red, and a blue, and can mix them into just about any color that you want. So let's take this red light right here, or this red wire, I'm sorry, and let's plug it into pin nine. So I'm gonna go straight down. If I go straight down, that's eight and that's nine. And so we wanna use the digital out and I wanna change that to red wire, okay? And then I'm going to grab uh, this one right here and this is my blue wire, so I'm gonna to wanna to make that blue. I'm gonna bring this down and move it over and put it here and change this to my blue wire. All right. And then finally, this one right here is my green wire, so I'm gonna grab it out of there. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna click it and then I'm gonna hit it there. And it mine defaults to, to green, so I know I have my red for my red my blue for my blue, and my green for my green. All right. Now let's get into like my favorite, and I mentioned this uh, in a previous video, this SIK Spark Fund um, is a great resource for when you're getting used to and getting introduced to Arduinos. It has awesome illustrations, and as, as you scroll down, it's got, um, shows you how to wire some things. Mine's a slightly different than this one. It goes a little bit higher on the breadboard than, than this, but it also gives you some code. Okay, so we're gonna copy that code. And we're going to bring it over to the code here and change the code from blocks to text. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm sure. Um, let's see, that looks like it defaults from the blink circuit. If you haven't done that one, I really suggest you trying it. And let's go ahead and paste that. Now let's hit start simulation and see what it does. Hey, 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 look, it's working. That's pretty dope. All right, you can see that um, 
if yours is not working, I suggest looking at the um, resistors, making sure they are either 220 ohms or 330 ohm resistors. You can look through here and see that it goes from red, goes on and then goes off and then green. Um, and so it kind of goes through here with if else statements and goes through like all of the colors, which is awesome. And you can hit stop and then you can hit this and it shows you all of your lists that you need. But what I want to do is I want to make our own um, I want to make our own like traffic light. OK, so what I would like to do is get back into this block. And I would like to get rid of this right here and point out that you can do some some of your own coding and here's what we're going to do we're going to get into the controls and repeat this like five times and please get into this one right here where it says set RGB and so this is where we're going to need to go 9, 10, and 11. And we want to make sure that that is red. OK? So what I do whenever I'm testing some code or even building something is I try and break it up. So we want to make a traffic light. We want to go from red to yellow to green. So first, I want to make sure that it's doing red. So here we go. Hit start. It's red is going 10 times. It's really not changing anything, but it's red. So we're good. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to hit control and I'm going to ask it to wait a second. Okay. And I'm going to change that second to like three seconds. I'm going to right click on that and duplicate it so that I don't have to drag and find all of the code again. And then I'm going to change this from 11 to 9 to 10 and let's change that to like yellow all right I think most traffic lights at yellow are like two seconds so let's test this so far it should be red and then yellow so start it red for a few seconds yellow for a few seconds and it should circle back to red all right so it's red for three yellow for two awesome and then finally, I'm going to click on it, or I can simply grab this again, grab the control again, wait. And then I want to go, oops, I'm sorry, I want to make that 10, I want to make that 11, and I want to make this 9. And then I want to make this color like green. And let's have that on for like uh, another let's see we have three seconds two seconds and let's make that four seconds let's make the green like longest right hit start red yellow green and it should circle back and it should then do that five times great job thanks for following along one of the last things you want to do is grab this annotation uh, I guess you have to hit stop Grab this annotation, throw your name on it. Am I writing my name? Here we go. Throw your name on it so I know you did it. Change this, whatever yours is, to traffic light with RGB. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or post. Um, I will also add this link to the um, Spark Fund right below. All right, have a great rest of the day.